Hello folks and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, as promised, a power test on the Bofang 5RH Pro. Uh, that's the newly released model from Bofang. Uh, the one that claims to have APRS, uh, Bluetooth and GPS all built into it. But uh, today we're just going to be uh, doing a quick test on uh, the power output of the radio. Uh, testing it on the three commonly used ham bands of 2 metres, uh, um, 1.25 metres and uh, 70 centimetres to see what the power output is on it. So without further ado, uh, we'll get to the testing. I have the radio connected up to my uh, little old Surecom uh, uh, SW33 power meter. So we'll be transmitting into a 50 ohm dummy load, so um, we'll get on with it. Uh, as you can see from the screen there, I've, I have uh, already uh, typed in 145500, which is the calling, 2 meter calling channel for the UK. So we'll see what kind of uh, power output we're getting on 2 meters. And there, as we can see, we're getting 5.4 watts on 2 meters. Uh, so, yeah, quite a healthy, respectable uh, output on 2 meters. Nothing uh, too surprising there, but uh, definitely absolutely fine on 2 meters. So, we'll recalibrate again here. And this time we'll put in uh, the uh, 1.25 meter band uh, for interest uh, for those in the USA. We don't use this one in, in the UK, but obviously anyone in the USA would want to know what the capabilities are on uh, 1.25 meter. So we'll put in uh, 220 megahertz, which is the start of the 2 meter band. There we go, and we'll see what kind of output we're getting on 1.25 meters. So 3.7 watts, uh, not amazing, but at least, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting nearly 4 watts, 3.7 watts. So, yep, it is outputting okay on uh, 1.25 meters. So, yeah, pretty good there. So, we'll recalibrate again. This time we'll uh, try the radio on the 70 centimeter band. We'll put in the call on frequency for the UK, which is 433500. And we'll see what we're getting on the 70 centimeter band. And a very healthy and respectable 7.5 watts there on uh, UHF 70 centimeters. So yeah, pretty good uh, performance all around, 5.4 watts on uh, 2 meters, uh, about 3.7 watts on 1.25 meters, and with the best performance is on UHF uh, 70 centimeter band, which is giving us uh, a very healthy 7.5 watts. So all good there. Um, just to... Uh, elaborate a bit more on the radio in a previous video i actually said that uh, the radio uh, had uh, 999 memory channels it doesn't i checked uh, in the software there and i was wondering why it was only displaying 64 frequencies on on band on zone one and that's because the radio only has a total of uh, 640 uh, frequency memories uh, on like most of the new Bofangs which are coming out with uh, 999 uh, uh, frequency memories, uh, this radio for some reason or other uh, comes with uh, a total of 640 uh, frequency uh, memory storage. So you have uh, 10 zones of uh, 64 frequencies in each zone, uh, giving you a total of 640 frequency uh, memories. So just to, to correct that the small error that I made in the previous video where I said I had 999, I was thinking of the, the other uh, radios, both things that I have, the newer ones, J1 
generally seem to come with the 999 memory capacity but this one the Bullfang 5RH Pro just has uh, 640 so slightly down on uh, what the previous models have but certainly more than enough for uh, your average uh, radio user. Another thing I forgot to mention is that the, the radio is actually capable of picking up airband. Um, it will receive airband frequencies. Uh, for instance, if I put in my local airport here, which is a Belfast International approach, uh, the frequency for that is 133125. Uh, so I can punch that in. And there we have it. So you can see that it accepts that frequency, no problem. Uh, strangely enough, on most other bullfangs, when you change to uh, amplitude mo modulation, you get a little AM uh, uh, frequency indicator in, in the viewfinder, but there's no indicator to show that on this uh, particular model. Although I have uh, actually uh, received uh, the... Uh, radio signal from a local airport so there's there's no question about it it does actually re receive uh, AM uh, airband frequencies so uh, no problem there it's just that I failed to mention it uh, that, that as part of the radio's capability is uh, to receive uh, AM airband frequencies so yes it does receive AM airband so anyway, just a, a quick update there and a few corrections to my previous video there. Uh, it uh, has 640 memory channels, not 999. Uh, they're divided into 10 uh, zones of uh, 64 channels and uh, 64 memory channels in each zone. So giving a total of 640. And yes, the radio does do uh, airband receive. Uh, so uh, yes it is capable of air bond receive uh, and uh, a quick recap on the power outputs 1.25 meters you'll get 3.7 watts uh, 2 meters you'll get 5.4 watts and on 70 centimeters you'll get the best performance which is 7.5 watts so anyway thanks for the thanks for watching folks just a quick update uh, video there for uh, I know there's a lot of interest out there from people who want to know the power up output of the their radio so uh, that was the purpose of this video so thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, give the video a thumbs up if, if you want and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want but that's all for now folks and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now